is already here. Welcome back, everybody. Today we are on the sh lineup review, and I am here with Soon Pure Red, and he has this ship to show us. So, what's it called first? The Pro Road. The Pro Road. Is that it? Yeah? Yeah, this is just a Pro Road. Oh, the Pro Road. Okay, nice, nice. I'm going to take a quick look around all these little detailings you've put in. It looks like you've got Hortz reactors sticking out the bottom. But you know, yeah. could, could be could be wrong. Could be something else. Um, um, actually, there's the matter tanks for the energy uh, re restock and refill. Um, they're just temporary, so yeah. And, uh, <laughs> temporary antimatter refill tanks, you know, just placeholder. Yeah, they're not built to last. <laughs> I love it. Nice turrets and as well. The armor cladding on your turret design is outstanding. I actually like that's probably the my favorite thing so far. It is very well done. It is very well done. That should be stolen and used. Like I actually feel like that works better than most things cuz it's like you've deliberately let them see what's in there and then used lighting to accentuate the uh plating. Makes it makes it look like a uh, you know like a block that you can't have basically. Which is the and trick. It's a very, very nicely done antenna array as well. Mmm, the antenna array. I've always liked the antenna arrays he does. Always come back with the same antenna arrays because I just like the way how they look. They look more detail, detailed and, uh, yeah, like they actually can work. Mmm. No Y hole juice on your bridge this time? This time not. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Beautiful. Okay, it's let's a take a whip through. Hanger right in the middle. What? What? Okay. What did you see? Just a little disorienting inside uh, the inside. Yeah, there's there's like some weird one block hollow spaces that really screws up with your perspective. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's just more to uh, defend the core. That's all right. Because this is an actual actually battleship, and yeah, I never built a battleship before, so. Oh, well, I well, see. Cheers, mate, for uh, you know trying to do something I've never done before. So what we got? Jump? Yeah, we've got the, uh, the big door above. So he's got his nice, nice hangar. Got lovely interiors and nice detailing. Lots of crystal circuits. Lots of use of, use of decorative blocks. I like to see that, like the actual decorative blocks. And those doors as well. You've got like a corner wedge. Instead, you know, it's like a different style again. I like it. That's cool. Always trying to finick around with everything mm. to make it more like your own style. That's it. That's exactly it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the bridge is excellent lighting as well. Oh, look at this. Well, the funny thing of the bridge is that you only can exit it from the outside. You can the only access is... the bridge from the outside. Yeah. yeah, there's there's like there's an airlock from the at the back of the bridge that leads straight into space. Oh yeah, true. Let's have a look. Yeah, because when uh, when you're in the bridge and uh, the bridge got blown up, you uh, directly already have your spacesuit on, so you don't uh, <laughs> and you have more survival life uh, chances. <laughs> I love it. Soon, it's brilliant. So there's the chair, love the chair, new design of chair. He's got some levers and computers and things. Hanging like joysticks, or yep. control sticks. That's right. I love it, it's beautiful. Right, well, there you go. Thank you very much soon for bringing your ship in for review. Is it jump capable? Yes, it is. Oh, brilliant. Charge it up and jump it out. Light speed away. And thanks for watching, everyone. See you all next time.